and Martin. Okay. Please introduce yourself. Oh, oh okay. My name is Jian Yi. I came from China. And originally I was from Jiangxi province. I'm based in Beijing. I'm an independent filmmaker who makes both fiction films and documentaries. In your introduction in other places, you mentioned that you've been to India before. Um, what are your impressions of India? Uh, I went to India as part of this fellowship. Uh, it's the first developing nation I've ever been to besides my own country. And the first Asian country I've been to besides my own country. I was very impressed with India. You know, I, I loved it. Uh, it's so very colorful, very diverse, very um, energetic. And um, I, I like it a lot. Food, people, everything. How did you come across the, the fellowship and the announcement? And how did you come to, you know, wanting to apply for it? I saw the announcement on the China Development Brief. It's probably China's most important uh, online information channel for the civil society, but it was banned last year. I saw it before it was banned, and uh, it immediately captured my imagination because I've been very interested in knowing more about India. Although as two big, huge nations, and that's how I feel when I was visiting India as well, that these two largest nations of the world, they have been neighbors for hundreds of years, thousands, and they know so little about each other. And they seem to be not interested in each other either. So there was very, you know, before this fellowship, there had been very little um, ways, for me, very few ways for me to, uh, to get to know India. So I saw this fellowship and really liked the structure of the fellowship because, you know, we all meet Korea professionals and we all have our own stuff to do. So, you know, I don't want to take six months off from my filmmaking and just to be here in New York or some or in India or anywhere in the world. So I like really like the structure of this fellowship and I like the concept of, you know, putting China and India together in the same um, context and get to them, know them. Um, after having spent over a week with the India fellows and the New School fellows and other China fellows, what are some of your first impressions? I must say that the Indian fellows, you know, I, was m I had more surprises when I was in India than when I talked to our Indian fellows here because I think, you know, the, uh, the reason that they can be selected for this fellowship is that they had certain background. You know, they had to be, for example, well-educated and they, had, they were already established in their work and they have already certain exposure of China or you know the world, so so you know it's not very surprising for me to you know during our interactions. But when I was in India, uh, with interacting with more like ordinary Indians, that was more surprising for me. But I, I like you know I like all the people I I'm, I have met uh, I have met. A couple of the Indian fellows in India already before the before this residency, so so they were like very familiar faces to me already. Oh, I, I, I like all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, what do you mean sur surprises you you um, what is what would be surprising to you? What's, what's what do you hope to find from speaking to whether it's an ordinary Indians or or with the India China fellows? You mean surprises? Yeah, well you said you uh, mentioned surprises and there's no surprises. You mean in India or here? Yeah, I mean, I just want to, can you elaborate a little bit more on what the surprises? Uh -huh. Well, uh, here, you know, with the Indian fellows, as everybody can tell, you know, we have, we grew up in a very different background, very different cultural, political uh, climate. Cli Climate, yeah. We grew up in a very different uh, political and cultural climate. So we have many, you know, although we are like so-called intellectuals, we, you know, we try to detach ourselves from stereotypes, but we all come with certain assumptions 
about certain things. And we have all have our own definitions about key issues. So, so I mean, there must be, you know, play, uh, many on, on many of the issues that we that we don't just uh, um, we don't agree, and uh, and also, yeah, that's that's I think that I, I can think of what else. How do you work out these disagreements? I mean, I I'm one of the people, you know, I like arguing, and uh, I also have the privilege of being able to speak English. So, you know, when I when I see something different, I just say it frankly, and 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 I think you know I like the way that our Indian friends respond as well. I think they are already already also very frank. I think that's you know what we need. You know, to we don't have to agree on everything, but we need this kind of. Uh, Frankness and to openness to to be able to to talk and listen. And what are the looking towards the next two years? What are some of your the things that you want to accomplish for the way you manage your time? I think India is a huge nation, and there's so much to explore, and we know so little about it still. So in the next two years, I will tr uh, continue. Uh, Exploring that nation through reading, interaction with Indian friends and visits, and also we have projects already under planning. So through you know through this, I, I mean I don't think that at, by the end of the two years I would know everything about India, but you know on certain issues, I believe that uh, on issues that I'm very interested in, and I will be able to uh, to know more and. And also that I, that will be a source of inspiration for me to look back on China, and that's why you know this fellowship is about you know to to provide inspirations for our work back home by looking at the other country. So I think um, I really look forward to that, and I think this fellowship is a brilliant uh, initiative. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the project you're going to do? Uh, the project we have already planned. Mm -hmm. Just this afternoon, we have further on one of our projects. Uh, we don't have a name yet, but the working title is The Slum. It's a documentary project with uh, girls living in slums in Beijing and Mumbai, respectively. And we are going to select one girl in Mumbai in a slum and uh, one girl living in a slum in Beijing. Um, we are going to give them a video camera and we are going to train them and give them six months to produce the documentary. Uh, video, documentary film, and by the end, if we are able to s sell those two films, we are going to be able to probably able to f set up a foundation, a very small foundation, and so we can keep her keep you know supporting girls from these two communities to uh, to work on uh, art projects and and document their own lives. That's one project that we're going to work with. I'm working with three other fellows from ICI and and faculty and. Uh, the China side, and also Anita in, in Mumbai. And one other project that we am going to work with is, uh, is making a documentary and a photo essay on the Maoist guerrilla in India and in, in, um, in, in Nepal, and also interview the new left in China, and also document the life and experience of people living in my hometown. My hometown was the cradle of the, the Maoist revolution in China, so that's why you know the original interest came up. You know, I was I was born there, I grew up there, and the whole you know my my grandma still remembers she when she saw Mao came into our town eighty years ago. So it's like this, the legends are still there, and but it's like my hometown is still as poor as eighty years ago. You know, people a lot of life lost because they fought for. In the hope for the hope of getting a better life, and eighty years later, their descendants are still living in the same in the same poverty as they as they did before they died. So, so it is very interesting to look at me. It is very surprising for me to know that there are armed guerrillas, Maoist guerrillas, in India in a democracy, democratic country like India. It's very surprising for me to know, and I would like to, uh, if possible, to visit them and to, to film them. And you know, to, and to interact with them, I will not hide behind the camera. 
have an interact with them as someone from China, someone from that kind of background. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.